Hello everybody, my name is Steven M, and welcome back to the Prison Architect. Yeah, it's a game, it's the Prison Architect. Prison Architect. This episode, we are going to be replicating this 112 jail cell cell unit block thing. And we're going to be plopping a new one right down here. The first thing we need to do is actually plan out its location. So we're going to have to figure out where the uh, where the walls for this thing are going to go. It's, uh, I believe I said... Actually, we'll remove this and we'll remaster just for like the third time. Uh, let's see, it's 34 by 93. So we need a 34 by 93 uh, rectangle. Okay, 31, 34, and well, we'll just extend it out and we know it's about that length. By 93. So right there is how large that this thing is going to need to be. And this will be a perfect replica of this baby right here. And it's going to cost basically a fortune, uh, because literally the building itself is going to cost $31,000. Which is sort of crazy if you think about it. Um, I'm just waiting for some more of my stuff to go through so I can actually get a extra grant to help build this thing. So we're going to have to wait like... Uh, either three hours or until uh, three prisoners get the ability to be assigned in a kitchen. Oh yeah, because that's right. Prisoners are bitten assigned into this kitchen. This high def, high res kitchen. Oh yeah, you heard it from me. Ah, yeah, prison architect. Love this game. Look at the yard. Everybody is literally just snuggling to death in the yard. They're really loving this. Uh, ooh, what was that? What was that? Confidential informant. Oh yeah. Confidential informant in the house. In the house, everybody. Confidential informant. He's confidential. Oh yeah, that's, an, that's just enough to say. This guy, whew, he is serious. This guy can kill. This guy too. He has a reputation that nobody even knows, but he does have a reputation. We know it. He can't lie from us. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, uh, the the time for that new grant is uh, is almost ready, and everything is looking in place. We still have the thirty one thousand dollars, but you know we're gonna need money to actually put in like doors and stuff. Mm. 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 So be life water, not a sponsor, but definitely healthier than Mountain Dew, at least in my opinion it is. Probably is. Definitely is. We're only playing at one time speed. How did that happen? We don't play at one time speed here. Look at this. Alcoholics and on this is going very well. Uh Stu's teaching. Now he just decided to leave and go to the solitary confinement room. Just, you know, cuz he could. Giving examples to these guys. Let's see if we can actually recruit any of them. Experience? Oh yeah, we just recruited another informant. And another informant. And... Oh yeah. Maybe confidential informants we have now. We now have four confidential informants. And this guy has 22% coverage. He knows like everything there is to know. Oh, this guy's stoical. Stoical. Stoical! Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, 31,000, let's see, can anyone else get assigned to the, can't, to the kitchen? No, only one person is still qualified! Darn. Darn, 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 darn. What if we just assign three anyway? Seriously? Wow, well, we didn't even have to have... <sighs> that was such a pointless task. Well then, let's get on to building the new area. Look at the price. 31 thousand dollars holy wow that's a lot of money but it's gonna be a big construction project so i hope my people can get right down on it i mean look at all the stuff that has suddenly just appeared in the storage area everything that we need to build a giant new 112 prison unit thing let's actually accept that grant for cell block d because we are getting cell block d on the way and we can also uh, accept like a short-term investment because I think that might work out for us. Let's do that. 71 hours until we get our money back. Darn. Is that, how is that one even better? How is the short even better than the long? It really isn't. It's giving... There's no better investment on this. It's still 5,016. just takes... I, I, I don't know. Well, either way, this project is insane. This is probably the most insane thing I've ever done in prison. This is the largest building I've ever tried constructing, you know? I just went all out with this. I was like, yeah, we're just gonna do it. I just looked at it and I was like, yes. Today is the day that we do this. We got the security room. The canine handler's just like, chilling all around. He'll, he won't leave his puppy dog behind. That's okay. 
Doctor, we should really probably put some security cameras in like this room so we can uh, actually see if there's anyone coming. Like uh, like down the hallway or something. It's like a solitary cell that really serves no point. Uh, actually, it's not solitary anymore. It used to be. There used to be, the think there used to be a common room right here. Yeah, I know, those were the days, right? Nope, now it's just a front entryway. A front entryway which is super hard to break into. I'm, I'm very proud of it. I'm actually very ridiculously proud of it. Wow, look at this. It is under construction. Thoroughly under construction. At least I'm not going to have to cut down too many trees to do this. Not that I really was like bothered by how many trees they're going to have to cut down, but... Actually, I think that this generator here will also power this uh, section. This one will power this upper one, because I don't think there's any possible way that this could run all of this as well. So, we're going to have to get a new generator. Yeah, wow, well, I mean, it's, it's around time to get a new generator. Or power station, as they call it. Fancy people call it power station. Uh, we'll also get a couple capacitors on that immediately, since we know the kind of load that this thing's going to be handling. Uh, yeah, like that. Wow, we've just basically blown our entire budget again, but that's what we do here. We blow our budget, because it's the kind of people we are. We gotta get some of the new cells in, like, immediately. We really, we really gotta get that on with. Uh, planning. So if this is gonna be one, two, three, and then four for the wall... Uh, that's going to be there, so that means there's going to be a door here, and that means there's going to be another cell here. And there's going to be a wall here. They're just planning out this prison, like, kind of, right this second. Uh, yeah, that's looking right, and then there's going to be another cell. If I do this correctly, I should know where all the doors are. I think, yeah. Uh, yep, that's looking like a cell, and... Final one. Right there, and right there, right there. Okay, I think I did this correctly. Three, 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 three. Okay, so we know where all the doors are supposed to go. Now it's just a matter of installing them. Okay, they've all been installed. And then we're going to have to get in the uh, the actual jail cells, which is going to be scary, actually, because we're going to need a whole lot of guards and stuff now, but we're hardly actually keeping the budget up as is. Come on, budget, stay afloat. Stay afloat, budget. Yeah. Days without incident. 4.2 days, that's it? Seriously? Only 4.2 days without an incident? Well, I could I could see that. Making like $197 an hour. It's not too bad, right? Nah. Uh, this fence is going to have to come down. I hope they realize that. Come on, fence. Is it, is it queued to be destroyed? Probably not. Uh, demolish walls. Yeah, we can take that down. Take it down! Knock it down! Okay, uh, where is everyone going? Where are all of my workers going? Well, they're, they're installing that. That's probably a good thing. That power station! Well, it's illuminated at least part of the prison, you know? Hmm. Oh, now they're taking that down, and they're going to continue work on the foundation. And it's going to be done with... Wow, uh, cell block D is looking beautiful. It's going to take up a huge portion of our map, but that's okay, because we're okay with huge portions of our map being taken up by, by very ridiculously large uh, units. Or, not units, blocks, cell blocks. See, are they missing anything? What else, what else do they have to install, or is it done? I don't know. I have no idea. It's done! Look at this, we're spending a fortune in lights, everybody, and we just blew our budget on lights. We just spent $5,000 in lights. Wow, that is an unnecessary amount of lights. I, I will tell you that immediately. Uh, can I can I cancel these lights? Um, will it let me cancel these lights. Well, no, it it still won't get these lights away. Well, that's okay, uh, because the lights are probably just going to be installed. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll probably build these cell units from scratch uh, this first time, just because I want I want I literally want it to be perfect. I'm having like a little bit of like an OCD problem. And the fact that I really want it to be to be perfect. And we still haven't gotten all the weapons out. And that's sad. Maybe what we should do is we should take out another loan. You know? There's nothing bad with taking out loans. You just don't want to take out too many. So let's increase this uh, to 50000 So yeah, we just got another $25,000. And now I am going to be putting in the walls. So like that. And like this. Like that. I was trying to figure out how many I could actually build and then clone. I think it's that many, so. 
That's uh, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I think there's some yelling going outside my room. I could I could be wrong though. Okay, uh, let's see, right there, right there, right there, and right here. Okay, I think that's all planned out. Let's get the lights down. We have 176 spare lights, so I don't think we're gonna be spending any additional money on, on lighting for like the rest of the game. Uh, I think we're gonna put the light right here. You know, every every part of the way. It's looking good. Uh, three, yeah, it's all three. Okay, uh, yeah, so that should be good. Uh, lights, uh, camera action, as they say in the olden times. Actually, no, they don't they still say that now. Lights, camera action! Nope. Not buying it. Uh, objects. We're gonna need some beds. Beds. Bed. Bed. Why is my game crashing? Did we find a tunnel? We found a tunnel. We found a tunnel. Great. We found another tunnel. Great. Well, the problem is, where is the tunnel coming from? So many tunnelers in this game, it's really starting to make me angry. Tunnelers. Tunnelers. Okay, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, and four. Okay, that should be right, right? Right. And now we're gonna need some toilets. Toiletries. Okay. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's get a guard in here to just kind of survey around the area. And let's get a, yeah, a guard in that giant, giant section of a, of a place. Brick wall. Why is there no brick wall there? Okay, and now uh, the guards can get on with doing that. Uh, they can install the utility, uh, which is going to be pretty insane. Uh, it's going to come down here, and it's going to come on the upper or the bottom. I don't remember. I've been running it upper. Okay, it, it matters to me for some for some strange reason that matters to me. So yeah, that's running from there like that. Uh, during lunchtime, I have no idea what any prisoners who are assigned to the cell will do because maybe I'll just assign it to like a restricted like prisoner base, so uh, nothing bad could possibly happen, or like not something something possibly bad. Like like nobody will get assigned there, and then nobody will end up not being able to eat because they're literally not anywhere near a cantina. Or a canteen, as they call it. I'm thinking of Star Wars for some reason. Cantina! Yeah! Cantina. No. Um, oh, that's right. We're also going to need a new walkway as well. Uh, is that just paving stone? Or is that just concrete tiles? Concrete floor? I can't tell. I cannot tell what this is. Is it paving? I think it's paving stone. I think it's paving stone. I swear it's paving stone. I'm going to put down paving stone. And if it looks ridiculous, that's totally your guys' fault. I'm just messing with you. It's my fault. Make sure you do leave comments on the videos. Not that I'm editing it this second, but I'm just saying, remember, you leave comments, you know? I like it when you, people leave comments. Uh, the danger has severely gone up for some reason. Uh, not sure what everybody has been needing so much, but I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous now that my fleshy indicator is starting to go a bit insane. Something's happening. A giant fight breaking out. Um, wow, does it really take that many people to... Uh, to do stuff out. That's oh, jeez. Come on, calm down, calm it down, calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. Okay, free fire mode, free fire, free fire. Calm this down. Arm guard, you have permission to use your shotgun. Okay. Anything? Anything happen? Uh, just beating people to death. Literally beating people to death right now. Uh, what caused that? What the heck caused that? Uh, 75 prisoners of serious complaints. They're just hungry. A lot of them are very hungry. Uh, food, family. Oh, that's because I, yeah, that, that explains it. This, yeah. Wow. I cannot believe removing tele telephones does that much to a prison that quickly. Okay, let's just make the yard huge for now. And also just kind of bring that out like that. And... We'll get a whole bunch of phone booths installed. More. How many do we own? Three more. One, two. Oh, well, actually, we'll just pay a couple more. Phone booths are really useful to have in prisons. Uh, yeah, just everyone's getting mad because they don't have anything to do in their spare time. So, yeah, now uh, a whole bunch of people require medical attention now, and there's two dead bodies, apparently. Uh, yeah, that fight was pretty brutal. Uh, that guy died, and that guy died. I think this guy got shot to death, actually. Yeah, um... Oh crap, there's another fight breaking out. In the shower. Holy crap. My gosh. This is insane. Uh, 
Okay, let's let's go into. I I want to go into lockdown mode, but I don't want to go into lockdown mode. It's it's a really complicated thing. Uh, I mean, at least we're getting we're getting some of the phones installed, so at least some people are going to be able to use them, and some are going to have not as many complaints, you know, because they're getting their uh, they're getting their everything down. Come on, just install more phones, guys. We really need these phones installed. This prison is going out of control. Okay, free fire is just open. Okay. If an arm guard needs to deal with something, he is more than willing to deal with it, okay? So just deal with it. Oh my gosh. Are they done now? We have unconscious guards. Yes, we do. Unconscious prisoners, probably, as well. Uh, eight people are requiring medical attention. They still have not finished this. It's taking them absolutely forever. Uh, I don't know why. What, what is going on, people? Why are you taking forever? I have no oh, wow. That is a lot of lights. Holy crap, that is a lot of lights. That is a crap ton of lights. Apparently, our storage area is now full of lights, which we cannot use, so... That's probably really taken down on the whole uh, situation. Yeah, uh, but we really need to finish this. Jeez. Okay, let's see if I can make this area a little bit larger so we can fit a couple more lights on here for the time being. Uh, let's see, imports? Not imports, that's what they call them. Deliveries, that's what they call them. Let's see if they'll just automatically unload them or someone's gonna come and unload them. Yeah, someone's gonna go and unload it. Uh, well, at least they're getting a little bit done. I don't think everything's gonna be enough to uh, fill in all that stuff. So we might be a little bit low on food for a time being. Yeah, they're trying to import bricks and they can't. I eh, hate it when that kind of stuff happens. Well, we'll just. I know this is this is kind of a desperate measure, but uh, let's just move the store or expand the storage room I guess you could say uh, so we find the storage room uh, where's the storage room where's storage storage we just move it into this hallway for the time being so we can store a whole bunch of stuff there it's not like that's gonna cause we'll just lock that open uh, for the time being we don't want to permanently lock it open obviously it's with all the dog track stuff going on here they found another tunnel oh my gosh they found yeah so there's obviously something going on in one of these cells here Someone's escaping. Let's go to our prison grading. 37% reoffending rate. Well, well, five deaths in custody and ten people have escaped, but that's not that bad. Our health is only a mi negative four. You know? It's not like I'm trying to fail. It just happens. It just happens. You know, guys, it just happens. Sometimes I just fail because it happens. Okay, we have nothing to do with these lights, and it is ruining everything. So let's just start placing down lights. Because if we don't move these lights... The whole prison is going down. So it's every two is there's light. So one, two, one, two. I know these lights are all my fault as well. I cannot believe that I caused this situation. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Well, you know, at least we're getting a use out of them. Not that we wouldn't be getting a use out of the lights, but just saying. So that should use up quite a few of the lights. I hope that will use up quite a few of the lights. It's probably probably should be saying. Come on, guys. Come on. I know there's a lot of lights. We're not using them all the second. We're going a little bit conservative on the lighting. It's brightening up the place, though. I will tell you that. Come on, just deliver everything you need to deliver. Come on, we have bricks, we have food. Come on, the prisoners they haven't even made it into the prison yet. Seriously, guys. Seriously. Wow. Let's close the new prisoner thing, since our thing is not ready to be open for prisoners. Okay, uh, come on. Just install a whole ton of lights in places that need lights, you know? Like, everywhere needs light. We need more lights. Brighten the mood of everything. Is there even any lights in this whole entire room? I don't think there is, and I think that's depressing. Actually, I have no idea if there is. Probably isn't, though. Doesn't appear to be. Let's put some lights in. Let's do it. Objects. Lights. We have 150 lights, you know? Just put one, like, every... Two, one, two, one, two... One, two, one, two... One, two. Look at that, we got lights galore going on. Look, they're more than happy to use the lights up. They're just like, yes, lights being used. Okay, oh my gosh. Actually, I could probably clone these lights. That'd make it easier, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Yes, it would, you smart guy, Steve. Look at that, you've just copied down and placed all of these lights. Now I feel intelligent. Okay, look at that. Well, at least we'll get to use a lot of the lights now. And our guards, or not our guards, our... Workmen will be happier because they have stuff to do. Look at that. They're, just, they're going happy. Happiness. It's the way to go, apparently, according to my people. 
Ooh, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how long this is taking. Come on. Well, 56% of the way to the cell block D. Our tool cleanup project has gone horribly wrong. Uh, that day ended horribly. Horribly horrible. It was awful. Let's just... Let's just search the cell block. There's probably someone breaking out here. Mm, I just want to bring some light. We'll hire a couple more guards as well. Ooh, what do we find? A knife? Ooh. Hmm, this guy really needs some drugs, so let's punish him for solitary in 24 hours. Yeah, nothing can be wrong with that, right? Nothing can be wrong with that. He might die or something. You know? It happens occasionally. Uh, uh, they've uncovered some more stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, they've uncovered the tunnel situation. Okay, now these people are all gonna be seriously punished now for trying to escape. Um. Wow, uh, let's remove the tunnels. There we go, remove that tunnel. We still have these tunnels which we can't remove for some reason, but it's okay. Um. Oh, they've actually completed that. Uh, oh my gosh, so many lights. So many lights! It's insane the amount of lights there are. Uh, but they were actually able to finish this, so I will applaud them for that. Uh, let's see if I can copy and paste this down. Uh, okay, and once more. Okay, there we go. And, oh, no, we weren't actually able to afford it. Oh, either that or it just broke at some point. We're just like, nope, not playing this game anymore. We're not playing Prison Architect anymore. We're playing something new. There, finished. Okay, got it. Everything's getting into place, everything's gonna get built. Probably not, because we have too many lights, and they're probably just gonna stand around again. And I wouldn't doubt it, but... I, yeah, I just wouldn't doubt it. What are they doing? Where are they going? Where are they going? Why are they going out that way? Why are they going out that way? Where, what, what is, what is that? Oh, they're removing the tunnels. Okay, that makes some sense. I, I understand why they're doing that. Okay, uh, light situation. Lights, objects, lights. No, yes, no, no, yes, no. No, yes. Um, mm, no, I don't feel like putting in the lights. I don't know. It's just, it's just not my style, you know? Okay, why are they trying to go through there? Uh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this game is starting to get a bit confusing. Still, prisoners from the previous day have not even arrived yet. I mean, quite a professional prison we're running here. Uh, what's going on? Why is we losing money now? Finances. Well, one, we are paying $2,500 in loans, like, each day. And uh, days without incident is one day. So, there we go. Now we're actually starting to make money again. Actually, we were making money. We just, yeah, I was being idiotic. It happens. Oh, uh, my gosh. Shell Block D is going to take forever to build. So, uh, I hope I did not bore you guys to death with the bureaucracy of building Shell Block D. But we have so many lights to deal with that it is literally just insane. I mean, I could not imagine that amount of lights just being there. I mean, it's just, it's just mind-numbing to think about all of those lights. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this episode, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.